Hair length requirement. Waxing generally requires hair to be at least a quarter inch long for effective removal. While sugaring can work with shorter lengths, as little as a sixteenth inch. Sugaring is often considered gentler on sensitive skin, as it sticks only to the hair and not the skin, unlike wax. Ingredients. Sugaring paste is typically made with natural ingredients like sugar, lemon, and water, which can be less irritating than the resins and chemicals in many waxes. Sugaring is often less painful than waxing due to its natural ingredients and gentler removal process. Direction of application. Wax is applied in the direction of hair growth and removed against it. While sugaring is applied against hair growth and removed in the direction of growth, reducing breakage. Heat sensitivity. Wax is applied warm or hot, which can irritate heat sensitive skin types, while sugaring is used at room temperature. Exfoliation benefits. Sugaring naturally exfoliates the skin, which can be an added benefit for those with rough or flaky skin. Risk of burns. Because wax is heated, there's a small risk of burns if applied to hot. Sugaring poses no such risk as it's not heated. Potential for ingrown hairs. Sugaring's technique reduces the chances of ingrown hairs since it doesn't pull against the hair growth direction. Long-lasting smoothness. Both methods offer similar results in terms of smoothness, but regular sugaring may lead to finer regrowth over time. Suitable for sensitive areas. Sugaring is considered more suitable for delicate areas like the bikini line or underarms due to its gentle nature, skin type compatibility. Sugaring is generally more compatible with sensitive or acne prone skin, while waxing might be better suited for more resilient skin types. Wax often leaves a sticky residue that requires an oil based remover, while sugaring paste is water soluble and rinses off easily with water. Frequency of hair removal. With consistent use, both methods can reduce hair regrowth, but sugaring is often touted as more effective over time. Cost Sugaring can be slightly more expensive due to its natural ingredients and specialized technique, whereas waxing is often more affordable. Ease of DIY Sugaring paste is easier to make at home with common kitchen ingredients, making it a convenient DIY option. Post-treatment care Waxing requires more careful post-treatment care especially for those with sensitive skin, while sugaring's natural ingredients may reduce the need for extra precautions. Skin healing. Sugaring causes less irritation overall, leading to faster healing for those with sensitive or reactive skin types. Sugaring paste is biodegradable and eco-friendly, making it a greener choice than synthetic waxes. Effectiveness on different hair types. Waxing can be more effective on coarse or stubborn hair, while sugaring works better for fine to medium hair. Thanks, folks. Don't forget to hit that like button if this video was helpful, and don't forget to subscribe for more.